Hello, it's Nicole from the Addison Library. Today we're here to celebrate National Donut Day. We're gonna start with making some donut holes. That should be pretty easy to make at home. I'm gonna walk you through the steps and afterwards we're gonna have a story time. I have pre-measured all of the ingredients as you can see here. We have two cups of flour, three tablespoons of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and we're gonna pour those into this large mixing bowl. Make sure to get everything in. We're gonna give it a quick stir, mix it up really well. Make sure before you start, you're gonna turn on, we're gonna fry these, so we're gonna turn on the pot of oil. While that is heating up, we're gonna make the other ingredients. So we're gonna mix the flour mixture. And in this small bowl, I have one large egg. We're gonna whisk that together with one cup of milk. While you're waiting for the oil mixture, I have prepared some cinnamon sugar that we're gonna dip the donut holes in afterwards, as well as some powdered sugar. Once the egg and milk are whisked together, we're gonna pour them into our flour mixture. We're gonna stir to combine After the mixture is combined, we're gonna add in four tablespoons of pre-melted butter. Once this is combined, we're gonna just wait. While you can, you can clean up your area and discard anything we may not need anymore. And then we're gonna get ready for the frying stage. Here we have a pot of oil that is heating up. And here I have prepared a cookie sheet with paper towels that we will set to the donut holes on once they're made. Using a cookie scoop, we're going to scoop the donut hole into the hot oil. It might be best to do one or two at a time. We're gonna use tongs to flip them halfway through once they're golden brown.
until the other side is golden brown and then we're going to put them on the cookie sheet to drip off some of the excess oil. Take out and set on the pan to drip off and cool off before we dip them in either powdered sugar or cinnamon sugar. You can go ahead and start another couple. Once they're golden brown, go ahead and flip them. I'm gonna start two more. And while those are starting, I'm gonna dip the other ones into the powder. Using a spoon, you're gonna just spoon the powdered sugar over the donut holes. Once you've coated them, you're going to put them back on the sheet with the ones that have just got out of the frying pan. And then switch them out. And there you have it. You have a great snack in honor of National Donut Day. Please enjoy. Once upon a summer's day, a donut chef was heard to say, on the street where people stop, I'll open up my donut shop. The store was cozy, made of brick. He got it ready super quick. He washed the walls, he swept the floors, he sung a sign above the doors. He stacked his pots, he cleaned his pants, he dusted off the ceiling fans. He grabbed a spoon, then turned a knob and set the stove to do its job. The donut chef, he worked so hard by mixing flour, sugar, lard. He baked his donuts fresh at dawn, then hoped by noon they'd all be gone. At first, one man walked in the store but then a line sneaked out the door. The donuts soon were all the rage, adored by folks of all ages. Soon word got out of this success and to another chef no less, who said to him, your shop is through. When my store opens next to you. Indeed, with two shops on the block, both selling donuts around the clock. When people asked, you might have guessed whose donuts are the very best. Two donut shops on one small street, for customers they did compete.
Each used his donut selling tricks before he closed his doors at six. If one chef dropped his cost, the next would add more chocolate frost. If one would scream, buy two, get three, the other yelled, but mine are free. They made new flavors quite bizarre, like cherry frosted lemon bar and peanut brickle buttermilk and gooey cocoa mocha silk. They tried new shapes just beyond the rings. Their donuts were such crazy things. Some were square and some were starry. Some looked like calamari. Some were airy, some were coney, some resembled macaroni. It wasn't long before the sweets looked not at all like donut treats. They'd lost their taste, they'd lost their soul. They'd even lost their donut hole. The chefs continued with their feud, cooked up more crazy frosted feud. The chefs continued with their feud, cooked up more crazy frosted food. Then in walked little Debbie Sue, a teeny girl, just barely two. She looked at all the donuts weird, the flavor strange, the topping smeared. She looked and looked, but could not find the one that was her favorite kind. Excuse me, mister, said the tank, but where's the donut that I like? It wasn't here, it wasn't there. You think it's under that eclair? Oh, surely, said the chef with grace. Your donut's in this case. We've donuts laced with kiwi jam and served inside an open clam. Donuts made with huckleberry. Don't be scared, they're kinda hairy. And donuts made from spiced rum pears, so popular with the millionaires. We've donuts lighter than a wisp, donuts gooey, donuts crisp. Donuts dressed just like a Shriner, donuts major, donuts minor. If we don't have it, you can bet it can't be found, at least not yet. The choice of donuts left her dazed, said Debbie Sue, but I want glazed. The crowd were silent, jaws hung low, a flavor choice from long ago. No one orders donuts glazed, the chef was startled, then amazed. A donut glazed, that's so old time, from when a donut costs a dime. Hey, I like glazed, a voice chimed in. Me too, I love them. Where have they been? Then all the people sang in praise of simple donuts dipped and glazed. The clever chef then got a thought. He turned his stove to super hot. Flour, sugar, just a cup, and in a bowl, he mixed it up. He let it cook, he knew what to do, and ding, the timer chimed on cue. Your donut's ready, Debbie Sue. She popped the donut in the air, and in her mouth, it landed there. She chewed it, smiled, and gave a wink. Hmm, there's nothing quite like glazed, I think. The crowd called out and yelled, I'm next. Bought glazed delights by cash and check. The donut chef, he wrote the line, Amazing glazed, his store's new sign. Now throngs of people happily wait to buy his donuts by the crate. The donut chef, he never guessed of all the flavors he did test. That most of folks love a glazed the best. 